Hi, I'm Bob Lazar. During late 1988 and early 89, I worked on the propulsion systems of extraterrestrial vehicles for the United States government. The hardware and technology I was exposed to should be placed in the proper hands of the scientific community, and it is the right of every person on Earth to know that there is physical evidence which proves that there is life elsewhere and that at least one form of that life has been here. For those of you whose information about me is limited to this video, I'll give you a brief background. I'm a physicist. I have degrees in physics and electronics technology. I've worked in a number of scientific programs, some of which require top secret and above top secret security clearances, of which the most easily verifiable is my early 1980s job here at the Los Alamos Maison Physics Facility in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Between December of 88 and April of 89, I worked as a senior staff physicist in what has to be the most secret project in history. My place of work was a facility at an area known as S-4 on the Nellis Air Force Range in central Nevada. Area S-4 is located approximately 15 miles south of the infamous Area 51 installation at Groom Lake, where the U-2 and SR-71 spy planes were developed. For the duration of my employment at S-4, I was paid by the United States Navy. This is the desert of western Nevada. 60 square miles of this prohibited area were set aside for a special purpose, and its very isolation is of the greatest importance. Overall security in this area is the highest yet to be maintained in this country, even higher than that of the Manhattan Project. If all I have just presented to you is true and the government is keeping this a secret, how can I make a video telling you about it? Well, the bottom line is, if there are any repercussions from making this video, it would simply confirm that what I told you is true. So what you do with this information is up to you. Remember, not everyone who sees a disc in the sky is crazy. So keep your eye on the sky, especially here in central Nevada. And thanks for listening. On May 15, 1989, Bob's first interview aired live on television. Bob made his startling revelations of working on advanced propulsion systems for the United States government at Area S-4. He was interviewed by George Knapp of Claus under his pseudonym Dennis to initially conceal his identity. He spoke about a top-secret project by the U.S. government to reverse-engineer nine flying saucers of extraterrestrial origin. He said his job was to help reverse one of nine saucers near Nellis Air Force Base. His story quickly gained international attention and is very much the sole reason Area 51 is now an iconic household name. Bob's initial May 15 interview fueled a series of subsequent interviews and investigations by journalist George Knapp. Bob's story has not changed since he first told it in May of 1989. Featured here is a video made by Bob a couple of years after that historic 1989 interview.